that 38 years ago, um, basic training was really strange because actually where they sent all of us conscientious objectors was to Fort Sam Houston to the Brook Army Medical Center because they didn't want us to, you know, um, infect the others. And of course, that's, I believe, where uh, a lot of the people that were shot at Fort Hood ended at Brook Harvey Medical Center. And it was a pretty, I mean, that was the major burn center, and probably other than Walter Breed, it's probably the major medical center. And of course, in the middle of Vietnam, most of us that were conscientious objectors were all very strong political activists. Uh, if any of you want to see my FBI file, I, I brought it. <laughs> um, but there was a brief time that the draft, that Congress didn't repass the draft in 1971. And so everybody that graduated in June of 71 all ended up in the same class. And almost all of us were SDS, Black Panthers, we were all, you know, radicals, and they all stuck us together, and they didn't know how to deal with us, um, because most of the time they were used to getting kids who, like the Seventh Day Adventists, who um, they actually did biological and chemical tests on and. But they were, you know, 18, you know, you strip them naked and they weren't sure what, what was going on. And the rest of us, you know, we'd read everything, you know. So we came in there and it was like, okay, why aren't you like the Green Berets and out there, you know, chanting? And we'd go, okay, ho, ho, ho to men, NLF is gonna win. No, no, not that, you know. Um, okay, one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Don't ask me to give it in. But it was also a very, painful time as most people can imagine. Sharing a phone booth with a crumpled beer can, getting busy signals, no answers, in my lonely phone booth. This is one of about uh, a dozen poems that were written Thanksgiving 38 years ago. And I was drafted on the 15th, was sworn on, on the 16th of November of 71. And also back then it was really strange for those of you who are about the smoking thing. You know, our, our food rations had cigarettes in them. And like when we were out there doing exercises, that, that was your break. Everybody have a cigarette break. Okay, that, that is good, that is positive. You know, we've got 10 minutes to, and then you would have to go and you know, pick up all the cigarette butts. Cigarette butt on the floor. Tell me what Thanksgiving's for, or tell me what we're fighting for, or tell me what we're dying for, or tell me what we're living for. In a different direction. If music came to ears like snowflakes, the wind drew a picture. <laughs>